Hello everyone and welcome to Diamond 4 Solo Queue. And as you probably know, this uh, inspiration secondary thing is damn. Uh, this this inspiration secondary thing is now uh, pretty much everywhere on AD carries. For example, this Caitlyn is uh, running it right now. We have a lot of inspiration secondary, by the way. Uh, and I am also trying this on Misfortune. We'll see how it goes. We will go for a for an Emacs build with Arcane Comet. And um, we cannot spam E in lane really without corrupting potion, but the biscuits definitely help. You play this by the way for the biscuits and the free boots to speed up your build. And this might actually be kind of risky. You got invaded, I don't think they're still here though. They also don't have a hook or a bind, so I feel pretty safe. Yeah. But yes, the idea is that you get your core build faster, and also that you have a safer lane phase due to the potions. And yep, yeah, we'll see how it works. They help with mana a little bit, especially in the late game. The um, the total mana they give is very valuable, especially in combination with mana flow band, because that way. Oh, she's going to poke me. Alright. Yeah, we're going to get pushed in. No doubt about that. Nothing we can do. Ah, kind of an annoying lane. They were reached level 2 before us. Way before us, to be honest. This Soraka needs to get away from me. Else this Karma can hit us both. Unfortunate. Yeah, we just have to have to endure. I actually don't remember when uh, was the last time I had lane priority. <laughs> uh, let's not go there. Nice. That's some valuable poke damage. Uh, I hope Soraka heals me a little bit. Caitlyn Flash. Caitlyn heal. Okay. Oof. Lost a lot of minions for that. I've already got both summoners, so I think it's worth. Actually, only one farm behind, so it could be worse. And we still have our potions. Caitlyn's okay, probably back right now. We need this under tower. There's no way. Alright, I don't get any help, so this lane is frozen now. Perfect. Yeah, Hedlin will now massively catch up and... Oh, actually, yeah, she holds this. This is a freeze. This is actually the worst spot you can leave a lane in. Oh well. I cannot prevent the freeze from happening if my support doesn't help me. Just doesn't work. Karma catches me, Caitlyn respawns, and then I die. And what is she doing? Oh my god, what? Ah, uh, alright. 
complaining about bad supports. There's no use really. Minions really tilt me more than anything. And this, leaving the lane like this, is such a bad play from the Soraka. I can't walk up because Soraka isn't with me. Right, looks like I'm not farming anymore. Until the wave crashes. Maybe I get some minions with E. Maybe I make it worse. We'll see. Fifteen found behind. That's a kill. That's all due to Soraka's minion wave management. That's extremely tilting to me. Don't know why, but it is. They get dragon now. Okay. At least it's only a mountain that doesn't lose us the lane. Right, I think I need to take a deep breath and get rid of my tilt, else we won't win this. Soraka gets a good slow into a root, then I might kill them with my ulti. Or I might just kill them anyway, okay. Please, Soraka, don't overdo it. Nice, okay. I'd also like to go back here, just because I have so much gold. Well, as long as the Caitlyn is here, I won't go back unless Caitlyn goes back. Soraka goes back anyway, which is terrible, by the way, just in case you're wondering. Let's regain some mana. Am I getting dove? Okay. Caitlyn is back now. So I go back as well.
I think that's fine. Right. Yeah, she also has the boots. Maybe she has... Doesn't she have biscuits? I'm, I'm not sure. I didn't see her using any. You typically do this because of the biscuits. They give you an easier lane phase. Hmm. I wonder what she took, though. Still good damage. Karma Slash. She lives. I need executioners as soon as possible. Sadas and Darius. <sighs> At least I kill him. Yep. Alright, could be worse. Could be worse. Okay. Huh. Whatever the Sakali is doing, it's not really working. I do have ulti when I come back, but she's dead. Couldn't walk any more uh, any more further. Maybe I should have walked until the trap gets me, and then I should have ER'd. Maybe. Do I get Tabby here? Turret plating will soon fall. Well, first of all, I want Infernal. Not that we could prevent it per se, but it's always nice to have at least the illusion of control, right? <laughs> uh. Yeah, they can simply start it, we cannot prevent it. Yep, there it goes. Let's play for the late game. Caitlyn not scales us, but uh, the early game is over. Cannot do anything here. It was close, but it worked. Platings are gone anyway, so I should better back. Get a good recall timing.
Don't want attack speed boots. I don't think so. Let's get tabbies. Seems like the safest bet. An ally has been slain. Oh, I wanted to buy Executioners. Oh well. Uh, I can still buy it as my next item. Walking into the trap was definitely not planned. Oof, maybe a good thing I have this armor from Ninja Tabby now. I don't know where the Kha'Zix is, but I do have my Ghost Bed active, so... I should be relatively oof tower shot. I should be relatively safe. Okay. We somehow came back into this game. Let's try to make the best of it. <clears throat> okay, I definitely need to go back for my executioners against the Darius. A hard shoving bot lane, I need to go there. <sighs> that was not according to plan, we shouldn't have let them shove this, that was a huge mistake. For a second I thought Darius would be coming to me, but he is he has returned mid lane. This dragon's not too important in the mid game. In lane phase it's just it just ends the lane phase because you cannot win against an enemy with the Ocean Drake in lane. In the mid game it's not as it's not as important. That missed. Crazy. <sighs> I'm so glad for this executioner's calling. <laughs> Helped greatly against the Darius and against the Silas.
grab this. And next I want to have a black cleaver. I need 40% CDR for more effective uh, ability spamming. I have all this mana, I need to make use of it. Unlucky. He flashed on me. Nothing I can do there. Stay out of flash range, yeah, but... Uh, that's a little bit difficult. I shouldn't have walked up so far, that's really my bad. Also, I'm the only one with Grievous Wounds for some reason. Even though we're against uh, Darius and Silas, no one cares. Or maybe no one knows, rather. People are very bad at itemization. Alright. Hmm, we need to make good use of that Rift Herald. Kha'Zix is there. Hmm. That's shaky. Okay. Without... Without the wave, it's hard to... Oh, okay, no. I was contemplating um, calling for a Rift Herald play top lane, but the wave wasn't with us, so this, this would have been pointless. was not really clean, <laughs> but it worked, so be it. Need one more wave for my phage. Actually, do I need... yeah, I think I do need that black cleaver. Black Lever plus Motor Reminder is not really optimal, but I need one for the cooldown reduction and the other one for the healing reduction. It's not like they are bad items, they just don't synergize that well. Infernal in 20 seconds. Silas has Soraka ulti. Just take Infernal, I would... Huh. I would say that's the best. I also have ulti. Trading negatively, but we got the dragon. If we can keep it like that, it's fine. Please think it's away. We wasted precious Baron time, but we cannot give them a second infernal. It's not just not how it works. 
Okay. Alright, yeah, I cannot get too close to this Darius. Nice, nice. Almost there. Right now we need to take towers. Bot lane looks uh, not so nice. I don't want to leave the team right now. Maybe I should. On the other hand, we need my pushing power. Take in and recall. Right, and we should answer bot lane. Or sh yeah, we should. Mm, however, I think it's more important to move with the team right now. Caitlyn looks pretty dead. Okay, perfect. I'd say let's push bot lane so we create pressure bot when Baron spawns. Here's my ulti now. I have enough money for Cleaver and that's a huge power spike, but I cannot afford to go back right now. The team needs me. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe they don't need me. Well, the Silas was our position, that's... Uh, there's no question. Well, they're busy top lane, we can easily take this tower at the next one. They're not in the position to defend this. At least in the popping off. Alright, that's the surrender. Okay, after a very, very iffy lane phase... <laughs> we still got there in the end. So yeah, this build also makes use of Inspiration Secondary, and I think of all the AD carries, Miss Fortune is um, one of the better users of this, because she makes also great use of the mana. So the biscuits, they don't only give you health, they also give you mana, and also permanent mana, which is very, very big, because the more permanent mana you have, the more relevant the percent missing mana region of mana for band uh, will be. First of all, let's honor the decent. Yeah, so if you want to play a nice Emax Arcane Comet Misfortune build, but you are not a fan of Corrupting Potion, you can 
easily go for this build instead. Works perfectly fine. If you like uh, low old cooldowns, you will need to buy um, the black lever as a third item, but it's it's also up to debate. I mean, 20% uh, are still good enough, and you can go up to 30 if you want a death stance, for example. Um, yeah, so it's... Uh, well, the build is not as flexible, in my opinion, but... Um, you can work with 20% CDR, I'm pretty sure. All right, so <laughs> I hope you liked this. Let me know if you did. And also, if you want to support this channel, um, subscribe to it to not miss out on any other videos. And also, you can become a channel member. Um, it's right next to the, to the <laughs> subscribe button. So if you want to support me uh, even more, you can do that. But I hope you have a nice day, and I also hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.